Hey crew, how's it going? This is Happy Days, and welcome to another Terraria Let's Play. So, we're in a new world here, and we've got a new character called Jaina, and what we're actually going to be doing in this Let's Play is a magic-only uh, run-through. So basically that means that all we can use is magic weapons. So, this is probably one of the more challenging... Ooh, a chest. Mm, no, I'm going to come back later for it. This is one of the more challenging uh, character classes to play. Simply because uh, there's not a lot of magic weapons you can get early on. Um, yeah, there's just not a lot of magic weapons. You can't craft any starter magic weapons. So for the melee, we can make swords. Well, you start with melee weapons. Uh, for the archer, you can make a bow pretty much straight away. You just need to cut down some trees and get a tiny bit of stone. Um, but for but for a magic user, you don't have those options. Um, so basically, there's two things you can do to get started. Uh, one is to run straight to the dungeon and see if you can pick up an early water bolt spell, which is what I'm doing now. Uh, the other thing you can do is mine down into the earth and try and make a magic staff out of gemstones. Uh, the reason I don't like the gemstone path is that unfortunately, on oh, corruption, uh, unfortunately with making gemstone staffs is you can't just put any gemstones with any staff. So, for example, I think all you need is like, say, you know, 15 amethyst and some iron bars or something. But then to make a, an emerald staff, you might need gold bars. And to make a... Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, to make a... Sorry, I was just... Just concentrating for a second. Uh, yeah, so to make the magic staffs, it's... Unfortunately, not quite that random, which, you know, it'd be okay if you just had to get, say, 15 gemstones. That would make it easy. Or you could use iron bars for everything. That would be nice. Uh, the reason I'm moving so fast is that in the corruption... Oh, this is great. <laughs> okay. Uh, in the corruption, they don't actually spawn. Uh, the eaters don't spawn if you can keep moving. Uh, so, yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm just making a little runway. And I'm going to try and get them off screen to the left and then quickly escape to the right. Actually, this... Oh, I just pointed at my screen. <laughs> um, that little alcove thing right above me at the moment, this, this thing is actually going to catch a few of them. So if I can get that other one to come back. Come in. In you come. There we go. They shouldn't be able to follow me now. There we go. Just dig under here. Oh, good, there's another one. So, yeah, if you're going to do a magic playthrough, one of the first things I suggest is to run straight to the dungeon and see if you can get the Water Bolt spell. That's if you're doing it 100% legit, like I am. Which means not hitting any other enemies with anything except for magic weapons. And as I explained, unfortunately, getting a magic staff is not... It's not really feasible. Like, it could take you up to an hour, maybe two hours, to get the resources to make your first magic staff. Um, which is possible, but I'm sure you can agree that's going to make for a right boring uh, let's play while I just harvest half the map. So, I won't be doing that. So yeah, but anyway, the, the magic playthrough looks like it, it will be a lot of fun once you get it started. And I'll just put a torch up. <laughs> so I'm almost there. You can see all those corruption mobs are very nicely staying in their hole, which is good. And I can dig up to freedom very soon. Now after all this, hopefully the... Hopefully the uh, dungeon's actually on this side of the map. <laughs> diggy diggy hole. 
And I think I'll start going up in a moment. Yeah, that'll do. Dig, dig. Dig, diggy, dig. And the light is shining through. How lovely. Okay. So, I might actually stop and collect a few cactus along the way to make some cactus armor. So, remember there's not really armor restrictions on a... There's not really armor restrictions on a character let's play. Yes, the dungeon's on this side. Fantastic. I don't know what I would have done if it was on the other side. Okay, so we're looking for... Oh my god. Oh, I thought that was it. Oh, it is. Yes. Okay, I was going to say, we're looking for a blue book with a yellow spine. And there it is. We have our first spell. Water Bolt. So, Water Bolt's great. It's a rebanding spell. Uh, which actually means fighting the uh, Aya Cthulhu is actually fairly easy uh, at the start. I'm going to collect a water candle so we can collect uh, lenses early on. Uh, let's just get some light happening. So anyway, what I was going to say, you can actually go a little ways into the dungeon without spawning the uh, dungeon guardian. But I think that's about as far as I want to go. Although, interestingly enough, dying will actually... Ooh, a chest. Yes. <laughs> cool, we got a builder potion. That's going to be handy. I was going to say... Dying's a quick way to get back to our spawn point. <laughs> Is that lazy? Is that cheating? I don't know. Anyway. So basically, this actually looks like a nice flat spot here, so I think I'll terraform this straight into our base. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Is this swampland? I don't know. I don't know. The trees look a little different. Anyway, so... Very lucky to get um, our water bolt spell nice and early. Just so you know, you might have to restart your world once or twice uh, to get the water bolt. It doesn't always spawn that high in the dungeon. This slime seems to have a bow on its head. Is it a present? <laughs> Ooh, I got a water bolt. It. Yeah, <laughs> magic. Take that. Uh, magic's actually one of the most powerful starting classes you can use. Um, if you can get that water bolt spell. The only issue is mana early on, obviously. So you might want to spend your first night or so collecting mana stars. Um, because you really can't cast water bolt that much at first. And I probably will try and make the magic staff now. Oh, <laughs> there goes my water bolt. <laughs> you can actually use it to fly in floating islands as well, guys. Which is pretty useful. Alright, so... I guess for our base this time, we'll be looking to make a suitably magic looking... Magic looking sort of, uh... Castle-y thing. So, uh, obviously just for bunnies, I might use the pickaxe because it's quicker. You know. Alright, so let's start making our... First room. Go away. Okay, so let's just start with the pretty standard Terraria wooden first house. Okay, let's get a crafting table up. Oh, I'm so pumped we found the... I'm so pumped we found that so early, the water bolt. That's really cool. Alright, uh, let's get two doors. Actually, let's make three. Let's make some extra room for NPCs nice and early. Uh, don't forget, you can actually use, you can use, what am I talking about? <laughs> you can use crafting tables for the NPC table. Um, you don't have to make the big wooden table. And it's actually handy to make a crafting table on each level of your base. Uh, just so you can get crafting. Anytime, anywhere. Is that symmetrical? Yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't know. I like things to be perfect, guys. Is that because there's a blade of grass there? Are you for real? Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I probably should quickly just change the wooden base. You know, actually give this place a proper base. You know. 
just to make things that that bit nicer for my NPCs. I think they deserve it, don't you think? Grass floors, I don't know. Maybe if I made like a hunter character, I could make a grass kingdom, but... And that one bit of thing can come out. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, gee, and it's almost night time. On our first day. How amazing. Okay, so... What we'll be looking to do, guys, is a really early uh, Aya Cthulhu here, because with the Water Bolt, what you can actually do, <clears throat> and it's kind of, <clears throat> pardon me, it's, it's possible with the Water Bolt, you can make an enclosed arena, um, where the Water Bolt spell will bounce back and forward, back and forward, and just absolutely destroy uh, the Aya Cthulhu. And I'll show you what you mean. I'll show you what you mean. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so hopefully I can get uh, an early uh, suspicious looking eye. I uh, don't forget to quickly place walls. Just push control and ho hold down whichever wall you're placing. It is amazing for quickly placing walls. As you can see, I used to do this manually. I didn't realize you could automate it. So... It is just too cool. All right, and I believe our housing is done. Cool. Okay, so I guess what we'll do now is actually go out and explore a bit. And I have a chest, so let's get let's get rid of some of our stuff. Oh, don't forget you can just use the deposit all thing to get rid of stuff you don't need. Uh, I might keep a few mushies in case I need to heal. Oh, why don't I just keep a few healing potions in? And mana potions are actually going to have a whole new meaning in this game, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> okay, let's go wandering. Now, along the way, I'll collect any mushrooms and stuff. So, obviously, just for collecting resources, I'm going to use things like the pickaxe and stuff. I think that's a bit overkill to be using magic on absolutely everything. <gasps> a living tree! Yes! This is so cool. Uh, I actually just need some torches quickly. Thank you. Let's go have a quick look and see... Oh yeah! This is... Oh! Gee, there's actually some copper here which is cool too. And let's see what we got. The leaf one, some shuriken, some bottles. All good. And I might as well take the furnitures. Why not? Is that just stone? Yeah. Now I'm just thinking copper is not really that useful to be honest. It's kind of like you can make wooden armor that's better than it. Well, not better, but you know, it's pretty comparable. And I just don't see much point to collecting copper. However, in a mage playthrough, obviously copper can be used to make a copper magic staff. So maybe I should go back and get that. Alright. Oh no! Magic fail. Uh oh, I'm out of mana. <laughs> yes! Go water bolt! <laughs> Gee, it's actually pretty good against those floating eyes. Alright. Go! What on earth just dropped? Was that just coins? It looked like something big and round just dropped. Oh well. I don't know guys, I don't know. Unfortunately it takes two water bolt hits to destroy a zombie. Which is a little annoying. <clears throat> Ooh. So I'll be trying to kill as many of these floating eyes as I can. Yes. Yeah, look at that! A sugar plum. Oh, it just... Oh, it heals your mana. Oh, sorry. I get it. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> See, you, you have to understand, guys, I've never played a magic character. So, you know, all you magic users out there are like, Yeah, man, that's just a sugar plum. I'm like, I don't even know what this is. <coughs> Ooh, we're crossing more corruption. Oh joy. 
All right, let's get this zombie. And hopefully we get some bounces here. No, kill him. Yes, bounces everywhere. Uh-oh, I'm out of mana. Yes, kill him, kill him, kill him. Yeah. Oh, gee, that's pretty handy. If those sugar plums are going to bounce that quick... Ah, uh, bounce. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ooh, that's pretty handy. Oh, okay. Uh, exploring at night. Possibly not the best option. Do you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm actually going to go <clears throat> and pick up all that copper. Uh, the reason being is you can actually craft a magic staff. And yes, mana stars. Beautiful. You can craft a magic staff, and I believe copper needs only needs iron, uh, iron bars to make it. So with all that copper, I'm pretty close to making our first magic staff. So I'm going to drop down here. Uh, this is actually not a bad place to be fighting all the zombies, you know. So let's let him in. Yep. Oh, buddy, what are you doing? I was ready to absolutely punish him with the water bolt. Oh, well. Okay, so just collecting... Oh, I thought there was going to be more copper, but oh, well. And might as well grab some stone so we can get our first furnace happening. First furnace. Nice alliteration there. Okay, so pretty successful first episode. We've got a base up. Uh, we've got the, the magic water bolt spell. So we're nice and powerful. So what I'll probably do off camera each night, guys, is just run back and forth and pick up any mana stars. Um, obviously, you don't need to see that. I could make a sky bridge. Uh, blah, 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 tongue tied. I could be making sky bridges uh, to try and speed the process up. Which... Might be worth it. Ooh, iron. Okay, iron is worth collecting. Yeah, die zombie. Ha 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 Oops. Accidentally. Yeah, take that. Actually, you know what I could be making, guys? Is like a little arena to farm mobs. Do you know what I mean? Like I could be, I could be making like a little, almost like my Eye of Cthulhu arena and then the mobs will come in and water bolt will just bounce everywhere and I can farm. Actually, I think that's a really good idea because of the nature of how water bolt works. So in fact, I think I'll make it right next to our base too. <clears throat> Might as well, huh? So let's just put some torches down, just so you can see what I'm doing. So it needs to be easy for mobs to get in. Haha, <laughs> water bolt, go, go! Needs to be easy for mobs to get in, and probably some platforms so they can climb up. And also so the... Ooh, nice bounce. Yes, yes, yes. Oh man, this is fun. <laughs> it's like a bit different than... The other classes, obviously. Okay. So, I think we'll make it... I kind of want to make it out of wood, not just dirt. That's a bit boring. Alright. So, one, two, three. And then I'll get rid of that, obviously. So, I just want it so... Can I make platforms? Yeah. So, maybe... Not too wide at this stage. Maybe just about that so I can maneuver a bit. Okay. All right, that's kind of cool. And then I want to seal in the sides, seal in the flavor. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And then he comes in here and then the bouncers will get him. Okay, cool. So we'll go up and then we'll put another level. Oh, I'm going to need more wood, aren't I? Yes, I believe so. All right, let's see if this works. So the zombies should come up. You going to come up? Can you jump? Oh, they can't jump. Hmm. Maybe I need to workshop. Yeah, you can jump. Why aren't you jumping up here? What are you doing? Jump. 
Oh, I don't know. What's going on here? This is crazy. Anyway, oh, you know what I should be putting is my water candle. Ah, oh, it's in the base. So let's get this. Oh, he's dressed like an elf. <laughs> so let's get this spawn rate up right away. There we go. Yes, come one, come all to Jaina's arena of death. Mwahaha. I think I want it wider, but anyway. All right, let's get some trees planted. Lovely. So remember, the reason I'm doing this is just to maximize the bounces we get from uh, Water Bolt. Just to maximize those bounces and kill mobs super fast. I mean, the other thing I could do instead of Arena is just build like... I guess tall like walls every like you know half a screen actually that might even be better still because then I can walk back and forward and the bounces will just naturally happen gee the bunny the water candle seems to have spawned more bunnies but not more uh oh there's one cool actually I might experiment with the see that's what I envisioned it bouncing like that. Bouncy, bouncy. Anyway, I'll try a bit of both. Uh, just looking at the time. Oh, is that a present? What's going on there? Can be placed. Oh, it's just like a, a little funsies item. It's for funsies. Gee, these uh, plums drop a lot. That's cool. <clears throat> just looking at the time, guys. I uh, might have to stop this here. Uh, basically, all I'm going to do for the rest of the night is chop down the rest of these trees and put up like some, just some barriers. Uh, I don't think I'll do an arena as much. I'm just going to put up barrier walls. Uh, this little thing will probably turn into my Io Cthulhu arena, um, just so I can cast Water Bolt and it's just going to smash him like lots of times. So I'm just going to be like, boom, boom, boom. And I going to be like, whoa, I'm getting smashed. <laughs> So that'll be fun. All right, so successful first episode. Uh, we've got a few fallen stars. I'll get some more the next night. Got a little base. I'll turn this into some sort of mage tower. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Let's see if we can get six likes for magic. And uh, I'll see you next time, crew. All right, stay happy. It's Happy Day signing out.